Uh, but soup weather, chili weather, as far as a nice bowl of chili, good this week. So good. But uh -huh. Then you might want some ice cream as we go into midweek. Lots of things going on and some big temperature swings. And we're talking one day we're not getting out of the 50s and the next we are back you better believe it in the 80s. So be prepared for a lot of changes today and going throughout the next seven days. Friday, breezy and cool. That's the day we're going to struggle to get close to that 60 degree mark. And even if we do touch it with wind staying pretty gusty, it's going to feel as if we are back in the lower end of those 50s. Saturday, potentially the first frost for a handful of you. Of course, Leela and I will continue to pinpoint how things do pan out. Obviously, it's chilly out there this morning. 54 degrees, a good crock pot start. Over in Lebanon, starting out at 52, beautiful lit up roundabout. Few spots dealing with some visibility issues, such as Bowling Green, you're at one mile, as well as Paris, Hopkinsville coming in at three. Temperatures, huge difference from yesterday. Leland, we're talking a 22 degree drop over in Paducah, 20 degree difference in Bowling Green, 14 degree difference in the city. And we're all waking up in those 40s and 50s, but things are going to change. Yeah, so drier air is in place over the Mid-South for us out there. And uh, yesterday afternoon, we were 83. So our high today of 72 is about where we ought to be on uh, this 13th day of October. The record 88 is set back in 1947. I don't run exact track, but really all you'll see on this uh, frame is the fact that the clouds in the eastern areas are pulling out. And we'll see a lot of blue sky over the Mid-South for you today. Uh, for tonight, Things are looking good for football. Hopefully we get that game in for tonight. Uh, and then as we uh, head toward tomorrow morning, we'll fall back into the 40s. But you'll look, we're in the Wednesday and you got to watch the clock to move to realize that, yeah, we really are animating this. Now, there is a cold front on the way. This one has a bigger punch than the yesterday. Yesterday is a nice punch because it brings temperatures down by 10 degrees. But some of you with this second front may not get out of the the 50s for a highs going into Friday. Now, will that system bring a lot of rain? No, it'll be like the one from last night. So here comes the front. We're Thursday now at about 430. Really not a whole lot there, but the front comes in and so there may be a little bit of light shower activity on the back side of the front. Thursday night and early on Friday morning. Your seven day forecast now will show a high this afternoon to make it up to right around the 72 degree mark for us overall for you for a high for today. Meanwhile, the rest of that seven day forecast will show 80 on Wednesday and then Nikki D here comes that big time cold front that is on the way and it changes the game Friday afternoon. We're going to top out in the upper 50s and we're barely touching that. It's going to feel significantly cooler thanks to those gusty winds in place. And then we're looking at the potential for a frost for a handful of spots on Saturday. Then those 60s quickly follow suit.